Wednesday. So I have a vlog today and tomorrow because we have some fun things coming up tomorrow. But why not kick it off today as well? Mainly just because I finally am going to undecorate our house for Christmas. Ugh. I love the decorating process, you guys know. But what I would do to just pay someone to take it all down. But the problem is that all of our like Halloween and uh, Christmas and everything else, all of our decor for that is stored in our front like coat closet downstairs. And that baby is overflowing, so not only do I have to undecorate everything here, but I have to, like, it won't fit. Like, this closet is at capacity, so I'm gonna have to take everything out of that closet and try to get things in an organized fashion. So that's my task for this morning, so I thought I would vlog today to make it a little bit more enjoyable. Before I do that, though, it is our trash day this morning, and I can hear when they, like, the garbage people come take it out, and so... They've taken it out, so now my first task is taking out our trash downstairs from our kitchen as well as like, I just have a lot of boxes and stuff in my room I need to take out from opening packages from when I got back to LA. This is hands down my least favorite chore. All trash has been removed. <laughs> I am starving. Also, normally I wake up at a good, especially like coming back from the East Coast to here, so I'm kind of more acclimated to the East Coast time zone. I've been waking up at like seven, okay? But even like, I don't know, I would say my normal wake up, like natural wake up time for when I'm in LA for a while is like eight to 8.30. Today, I don't know what happened, you guys. I could not wake up. <laughs> so I slept until like 10, so it's now 11. I'm starving. And I'm thinking I'm gonna get a little creative with my breakfast today. When I was in New York staying with my college friends one morning for breakfast, uh, she made us this like fancy avocado toast with an egg on top and like some balsamic and it was on some good bread So I thought forget the Ezekiel nonsense. I got some sourdough because I think that tastes good So I'm now about to whip this up. I believe I have not bought eggs in at least six months I don't know why I just stopped making them at home. They started kind of like not grossing me out They were just a pain to cook so I stopped buying them. But yeah, we're gonna do this also Fun fact, that's a little embarrassing. I've also only ever scrambled eggs at home. <laughs> that's not the type of egg we want on this avocado toast. So I'm about to Google how to like fry it. Is it fry an egg? Is it over easy? Is it, what is over medium? That doesn't make any sense to me. I'm about to educate myself on some eggs. And uh, yeah, for dinner as well, I got an air fryer from my family for Christmas. They sent it here before I even left for the holidays, but I wanted to wait until I was back to use it. So that way it still felt like a Christmas present and like felt like it was new. So tonight for dinner, I'm gonna be cooking some salmon and veggies and that little thing. So it's just gonna be quite a like culinary experience of a day. Breakfast is served. The toast is a little burnt as well because you know, so much for a big piece of bread, it doesn't fit regular ways in the toaster. So I had to do it like skinny ways, like it's where it's sticking out the top and do like the bottom and then flip it and do the other side. So the middle is a little crispy. Put some chili flakes on top. Hopefully it's still good. Update on my day. I clearly still haven't gotten ready and nothing has been undecorated. Whoops, quite the angle as this camera is balancing on a cup of water right now. I'm also remembering currently, if you guys might remember right before a vlog was I dropped, this camera at Target and shattered the screen and I have insurance on it, but then it was Vlogmas immediately, so I didn't have a chance to take in the camera to get it fixed. That needs to go on my list of things to do, but nothing's been undecorated yet. Basically my last hour has been trying to like be some kind of time bender who can change the number of like days in a month. In other words, I'm just trying to figure out my schedule because as I mentioned at the end of the last vlog where I was just giving some little updates on things, my February, it is slammed between some college friends that are visiting for my birthday, a trip to the Dominican Dominican with Adrian, um, trying to plan a trip with Kentucky because I'm doing a partnership with them this year and we're trying to get me on like my first trip like ASAP. A wedding that I have to be in in North Carolina. Another friend who I believe is supposed to be visiting at the end of February. A trip to Cabo. And now my wisdom teeth urgently need to be removed. <laughs> if you remember, I talked about that only in like one vlog, but that pain I was feeling, I wasn't crazy, okay? I went to the dentist so that's in North Carolina and he was showing me the x-rays and my teeth have flown down. And not only that, but one of my teeth, the one I think on the side, which was the one that was really bothering me, has like, you know how on the x-ray you see like the tooth and then the root? It like doesn't even look like a tooth anymore because it's turned sideways and it's like finding its way just like digging into my bone. So it doesn't feel good. So also in the midst of all of those trips, which already are not all happening. Oh, and I have like six friends whose birthdays are this month that apparently I'm just gonna be the worst friend ever because I'm not gonna be for any of them. I'm now having to factor in when I can get this wisdom tooth taken out. And then that also means I have to allow adequate recovery time where I'm not going anywhere either. So it's not like a real problem to have. Like this is, uh, you know, peak first world problems. Like mm, I can't schedule all my vacations. However, I am quite stressed out because these are brands and people that I've been working with on all of these and obviously value my partnerships with all of them. And I just don't see 
a solution that makes everybody happy. So I have been sitting here searching through like every single option or way I could try to do this and I just still don't know how to do it. Maybe somebody will be a little flexible here and I can move something to March or something like that because literally it does not work. So that's just been my morning. Never thought I would be in this uh, predicament, but here we are. I've not been staring at a screen for so long that I feel like in a daze or like that I'm asleep. I started just spelling things wrong. That's when you really know. I think I'm finally gonna start undecorating and tackling that and giving me something like with a clear solution <laughs> since there's not one to my other situation so that I can just have a nice start finish see my progress and accomplishment. Also, that avocado toast was delicious today. I'm about to make that every single day. It was bomb. I'm like, I've thought about it probably every 10 minutes since I ate it. Well, guys, what are you doing today? <laughs> the time has come. Take it all in. My phone just started playing Hillary. I don't know why, but this, ugh, this is gonna be such a process. Spotify is on one today. <laughs> Ornaments are all off the tree. She naked. I guess next is putting the tree in the box. Putting the box in there. All right, I just parked at Rumble. Where'd my other wrap go? This is bad. I just parked at Rumble, gonna do a quick little workout, then go home and finish decorating. I feel like I'm living in the year 3000. I realized I didn't have veggies, so I put mushrooms and salmon, and I got this little Brussels sprout saute kit that should be hopefully delicious, so I'm gonna cook this up on the pan. Ooh. It's ready. The stuff's bomb. These died in the air fryer, but the salmon is amazing. Adrian and I have uncovered this uh, cheerleading documentary series. I want to get flexible. I was just thinking that. Should we like do some stretches and splits? I don't know how I feel about this show. Part of me loves it. There's some redeeming characters. Good afternoon. I am exhausted. This morning, I made my delicious avocado toast again. I think that's gonna be my new thing. Right now, I'm almost to rumble, um, which I don't know why I'm going because I have no energy, so this is about to be interesting, but I know I will leave feeling energized and wonderful, um, and we have some exciting things ahead today, so I'll talk about that in a moment. Yeah, I'm gonna rumble it up. They're doing this like rumble program is what it's called. It's a challenge. You can pick 12 classes, 16, or 20 classes to complete over like a 30 day period, basically. I just signed up for the 12 because I didn't know what I was gonna be feeling, but I've been here for the past five days. <laughs> I feel like I was in such a daze on the drive here. Do you guys ever zone out? Like, I don't remember anything about it. This guy could have turned green and I didn't notice. I don't know how I drove here. So somehow like responding to everything going on. Just got my nails done. All right, things are happening very quickly. I just got home from Rumble and then I need to get my nails done and right beside uh, Rumble, there's this nail salon that I've walked past probably like 50 times rather than going to my normal one, which would mean that I like just drove there and parked there and walked to it and blah, blah, blah. I thought it might save me a little time if I just went to that place. So I walked in and they could do me immediately. So, uh, I mean, it's nothing new. I just have black again, but they were looking bad. Hadn't had those done since uh, before Christmas. So now, I haven't explained what's going on yet, and I will in a moment, but basically, Adrian and I are going to a Netflix, um, I don't know if it's a movie premiere or show premiere. I'm heading to the dry bar to get my hair done just because I thought it'd be a fun thing to do, so we're going. <laughs> Blowout has been acquired. I'm not showing you yet because it's super, like, super curly, if you know what I mean, like, we talking a little poodly. However, me and the guy, we had a chat. We were on the same page. And he was like, I can tell your hair falls really fast. I was like, yeah, it does. This man's in for like three more hours. So we came to the decision that he should like use a smaller curler and like load it up with some product. And then like right before I'm ready to go, I will come through it versus him doing it there. And then it falling even more over time. We are at a little bit of an aggressive starting place. However, uh, it's gonna be hopefully good. I also haven't explained what I'm even going to tonight. So. Basically, Netflix is releasing, if you're familiar with the show RuPaul's Drag Race, which I actually have never watched, but honored to have gotten this invite, undeserving as I may be, and apparently he's launching some show, or he's in the show, or I don't know, basically some kind of spinoff thingy. So the premiere tonight is in Hollywood. It is a full red carpet, like, event. <laughs> I had to give my number to, so that they can coordinate with my arrival time so that someone can meet me there to like take me down the carpet. And the dress code is red on red on red. So I also, two days ago from Express, like overnight ordered, and I still wasn't sure if it was gonna get here on time because it said it'd be delivered today, but that could mean like eight o'clock at night, in which case it'd already be gone. I have a red blazer and I didn't have a red pants. So now I have those, they did arrive and they fit. So I'm gonna have a little red pantsuit moment. Um, I think Adrian's wearing a dress, so it's gonna be a fun time. There's a reception after we might go to. It's gonna take about a year and a half to get there because it's in Hollywood. It's my least favorite place to go because it's so far away. Yum. Dinner. 
Adrian, are you uh, gonna be ready in time to go? Uh, we'll see. I'm just fine. <laughs> Wait, Adrian, one second and then we'll stop it. Oh, yeah, good idea. <laughs> Hello from us. Hello from us. I'm in the theater. Incredible experience, not just for me, but for everybody. <laughs> After a party, <laughs> we are back from the little premiere. It was fun. We saw lots of like drag star people that I didn't really know who they were, but RuPaul looks like a cutie. Back home eating a snack. We saw the first episode of that series is now on Netflix called AJ and the Queen. And then afterwards, there was a little after party we went to, and RuPaul was DJing it. It was quite a fun little time. And apparently, which one of the Mashalk sisters was there? <laughs> Uh, wait, no, Allie, Allie, Allie. Oh, Allie. Dang it, because I messed up the first time. <laughs> and I'm gonna go to bed in about one minute. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Good night. Good night. That's all for now. Oh. See you later.